Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your blog post on Canva simply by using the website templates for blogs over here. If you can find the actual uh, setting, you will find that there are a bunch of different cool elements that you can simply start. So the first filter I would like to always introduce to you before we even get into the finding the right team is going into the actual style, right? As you can see, we don't have much of a choice. Everything is like one or two out of style. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have as much choice. But looking at through the theme, you can find a much more variety. We're gonna create a landing page of it, okay? And then we're gonna filter by price and we're gonna filter by free. Is there some choices? Okay, we have some choices over here. So for example, if you click on, let's say, we want something simple. Let's click on this one. So first thing guys, everything that you see over here is customizable. So first thing first guys, everything is customizable. Every piece of the line of the text of the shape, everything could be replaced. So the question is, do you want to start with the actual framing? Do you want to replace the whole uh shape of it can you make it larger do you want to make it larger if you can see over here we have a photo covers which represents all the covers that are currently in use so if you want to replace a particular cover you click on the cover and then you come over here and then you click for example this cover okay then you want to go back replace the darker one right with something else so everything is fully customizable and you want to make sure that you really you really get an idea how this all works because when you click change all everything will change in this okay so you see the lines if you want to change the colors of the text there is a different setting for the color of the text you click on the on the text and then you scroll down to the color text for this example let's just use something that is popping so you guys can understand so if you want to change all the text with the same color you want to click change all again this is how you work smart you work fast on the canva app so when you utilize all these functions and add all the elements and everything appears to be good then you can download these guys and you can snap it on inside your original blog post this could be a cover this could be your landing page right because we select the landing page of your uh, blog and you can essentially create something reliable. So in every single blog post, you can come over here and edit, for example, put the title of the particular blog post, and this could simply become a cover for every new blog post. It will become a smooth transition and everything will make so much more sense. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram Reels on Canva app using your phone. Very easy guys, very simple. So the first thing you wanna come over here guys, you wanna click on social media on the upper settings. Then you essentially, you wanna scroll down, you wanna click on Instagram, and then you wanna scroll slowly to the Instagram Reels over here. Now I want you to click sell now, I want you to click CO. What you want to do right now is that you want to filter all the results by simply pushing up. Now, we're going to click on style. In our case, we're going to create a very interesting, let's cue it professional or creative. Let's, let's set as a creative mode. Then we're going to slide on the side and we're going to choose our theme which in this particular case could be essentially anything. In our case, we're going to use the party theme, okay? This is how simple it is. Sometimes it works a little slow, so you gotta be patient. Then you're gonna filter by price. You wanna use only the free templates, which will allow you to expand and excel more using your budget for other purposes. So let's select this. <clears throat> video over here this is how you're going to create the reels if you click play you will see how everything will be matching to itself if you go back you will see that every element that you click on is customizable this is very good and very important because you know and you realize that you can adjust everything for example all these flowers on the side you can essentially scroll through the menu over here and you can 
change them okay you can make them darker uh, you can use completely different font you can make them warmer over here on the side everything could be adjusted everything could simply be edited which is mind-blowing as you can see also over here you can change the actual color and the font by simply clicking fonts if you can see over here we can change the font make it much more easier for people to read while they're watching the videos right you realize that especially if you copying and pasting quotes like a lot of people are doing they're simply pasting a quote and essentially the background matters a lot small letters small fonts are not something that you want to go after this is why putting a different effects on the actual theme it's very important like simply adjusting the lining and creating a brush tool which will help you on the following face using the magic edit tool right it's simply very very interesting considering that a lot of people don't know that other people are not aware that this is uh, something as an option that exists also you can resize it right you can make it larger you can move it around or if you don't like it you can essentially click it and we can just remove it same like this text over here for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a logo for your tiktok profile picture okay today we're going to use canva and we're going to use the generic logo templates but i'm going to show you how we can turn something very average into something that is like a pro first thing you want to do you want to filter all the potential results over here we're going to come on top and you want to filter by style you want to make sure that you're picking the right genre which means that this will dictate how the logo will outperform the other logos so in our case we're going to do something like modern we're going to apply this filter then we're going to slide on the side and we're going to pick a theme right we're talking about tiktok logo so it could be something i would say probably illustration that will pop we apply all this you see already we have very good suggestions and the last filter i'm going to apply will be the price we're going to filter by free now after we saved ourselves a lot of time scrolling through the wrong content right now we can simply look through potential recommendations suggested pre-made templates and pick something that actually makes sense to us so for example this looks cool right if we're not up to food we can click on this one and very important is that every single piece of the content it's customizable so i can click on each piece of the text each form of it right we can change the color for example you don't like this right and whatever the color appears under the picture that you click on this is the color you're going to change on for example i click on the black color and when i click to change the color to a new color this is the only color that is going to change as you can see it's very 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 cool the template we choose it's simply very cool so we have to think about color combination right so we cannot have a black font black text and, and black figure right so we have to think about color that will match with the second color of the figure so for example if we have this to be in red right and the outline can be if we simply go back right so the outline over here could be in gray not so cool i would say a little more fun maybe yeah i think this looks cool now the third color over here which might be the main color as you can see looks very very cool now we have the the vibe of tiktok do you feel the vibe of tiktok the original first logo they they have this color theme remember this like uh, bluish turquoise with black this was the original logo of tiktok so now we have this one what i don't like is that the figure kind of overlaps with the font so we are going to move it and we're going to make it even by simply shifting it a little over on the side 
So this will help us to have a very good starting point by simply having everything aligned together. Now, the font editing, it's, I would say, even simpler. All you gotta do is to click on the actual text, go down on the fonts, and you can simply choose the starting point, which is how the font wanna look like. And then you can simply scroll through the different types of it, right? Remember, this is a logo, right? So when it's a logo, people, it will be hard for people to read it unless you have you have the actual font adjusted like make it a little larger right like something like this i'm not quite hyped about this so i am going to look to change it so this is very nice this is what we've been looking for and i genuinely think that we might actually reduce the size a little and Maybe put the figure a little lower. Okay, guys. And probably I am going to remove the small text underneath simply because the text is too small. And this is how you guys can create a very nice, interesting, uh, you know, design without the need of, of, of paying someone on Fiverr or whatsoever. This is how simple it is to create a logo for your TikTok profile picture. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove background from photos using Canva on your phone. Okay, it's different than the actual desktop version. So let me show you very easy, very simple guys. The first thing that you want to do, you want to log into your Canva account. Then you want to click on the lower center of the screen. You want to hit the plus sign. The next step will be over here. We are going to select our image. On the lower left side of the screen, you will have an option to either create a custom size prior uploading or you can upload your own file. On the right side, you will see that we already uploaded our file, which is this beautiful Ferrari car. Okay. Now, after the image is uploaded, you can essentially click on the upper right corner and click edit photo. Now you can skip the tour, right? And for the purpose of us removing the background, all we got to do is to click on the second menu section underneath on effects. When you click on effects, you will simply see that the first option over here is that uh, <coughs> BG remover essentially will remove the background. This is where you're going to click and this is how you're going to remove your background. Click on this and this is how you're going to do it. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add your customizable font on Canva app. Very easy guys, very simple. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go back on your previous post or previous projects that you work on. Now, for example, we recently worked on this logo over here. So we're going to use this as an example. If you currently are stuck in the project and waiting for this new feature, you can sit and wait on this particular project and you're going to have the chance to implement this. So first thing you want to click on the actual text that you want to change. And then you want to click on the fonts underneath. When you click on the fonts, you want to scroll down. And you will find a special section that is called Brand Kit. When you click on Brand Kit, you will be able to add not only your custom font over here. Do you see the plus sign? Yes. You can include your customized logo. You can include your customized colors. Okay. And when you add each of these, you will be able to name them. You will be able to give them a number, a heading, uh, like a serial number. So then if you wanted to use them for other project, you know exactly where to find them because you put uh, them as a certain number. You put them as a serial code that gives them a very uh, different uh, meaning on your app. So you will be able to utilize them in different projects as well. But this is how you come over here, you hit the plus sign on each of these, the font, the color, the logo, and you start operating with them. 
For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add music in Canva when you're creating a picture or a video. Very easy guys, very simple. So first of all, we want to create a brand new project where we're going to add the music on. Let's go back to our previous projects and let's just pick something that we want to add music on. For example, if I add this previous logo, let's say for example, we want to add music to this logo, right? All we got to do is to click on the lower left side of the screen, click on the plus sign. Then you have a special menu popping up, right? And then there is another menu underneath. All we got to do is to switch from design to elements and here very important you want to come over and you want to scroll down because you see there are stickers there are stickers there are photos there are videos there is audio so this is where you're going to click co for audio and this is where you're going to pick the songs that you want as you can see over here there are plenty of songs and essentially it's very very simple all we gotta do is to click on the song okay unfortunately all the songs are pro but all you gotta do essentially is to click on the song over here and the song will appear under the video as you can see over here where is the purple one this is how simple it is guys for the video is the same exact process you upload the video then you go hit the plus sign in the lower left corner and then you go on elements and select the audio that we want to imply in this particular content for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can curve text in canva you can change the shape of the text and it will be very very cool also guys very easy let's first of all create a brand new file or use a file from our previous projects something that includes text already my example i am going to use this particular text over here when we have the example already with the text on it we want to click on the actual text then you want to click on over here and you want to click on effects okay then there is a small section under this that is called shape you see there is a shape there is a style so you can click on shape and the second option is curves as you can see when you create the curve right we can essentially move the text on the side don't forget that we can make it larger, right? We can make it larger, we can make it smaller, and then we can move it around the actual piece of content. But this is how simple it is to curve a text on Canva. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create a GIF on the actual Canva app very easy guys very simple so first thing that you want to do you want to create a brand new file new project or if you have something that already exists you can simply upload this to the actual page so the main scoop over here guys is that when you are creating this you want to make sure that you include elements that will change the variable on this one so for example if we click on our original image over here right and if you want to change the background color to let's say let's scroll down and look something fun so for example we can pick up this one right and then we can essentially add another page and then we can simply click over here and then copy and then essentially go to the second page and essentially we can paste right so not perfect of course but the main idea over here is that you have two images and on the second image we want to change the background color so this is where the magic will happen the main idea over here guys is that you have a two image which are in our case in our case have to be completely the same okay and the idea is that you change the background of of both images right so this will create this special effect in which you will be able to see how the both uh, designs are actually changing okay so you will see how the both colors are actually shifting 
and this will give us a different perspective so for example we have these bold colors right so now if we click here on the timer we see the small timer over here so now we can essentially make the timer even smaller so you can make it as a one second timer okay and you can do to apply to all pages right and then when you click play on the upper side you see how the gif actually plays out so you have one and you have two this is how simple it is guys to create a gif on canva uh, the main idea over here is that you want to create as many images that are same as the original design but they have a different background which will essentially make the gif look more real for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a presentations for free simply by using canva you want to come over here on the home screen of canva and you want to scroll down to the section presentations let's click co and we're going to do some filtering over here we're going to filter the presentations by the actual ratio which is 16 by 9 you want to make sure that this is the actual format then you want to filter this by style we're going to use a very corporate style because we're going to pitch our team to agree on our project or our budget then we're going to filter by price and we're going to select the free templates for our presentation let's start with the basic one the first one which is the business project presentation when you launch the presentation guys as every single project in canva every element that you can see you can click and you can edit uh, very important is that the presentations are coming with different number of slides in our case we have a 14 different slides if you can see underneath how the presentation actually appears and the editing is very simple. For example, if you already created the actual format in Google Docs, you can simply copy the text, come over here and simply paste your new text, your titles, your new headings uh, and everything that you see on the screen. Very important is that any changes on particular page will appear underneath over here. So for example, we have a black hour for these elements. We click on the black hour and for example we want to make these elements in red and this is how simple it is you click on the element and then you change the color you click on the element and then you change the color everything is customizable this is what i really like about canva for the text it's, it's a little different when you click on the text you gotta go over here on the text color and then you can change the color text this is very important because uh, like i mentioned it might look the same but it isn't and then once when you start changing it you can simply click on each of the text and just simply change it individually the next thing that i want to highlight over here guys is with let if we move on the next slide if you want to delete a slide you have to click delete button under the actual slide if you want to duplicate the slide there is a button duplicate next to it okay the next function over here is that you can choose you know how long the slide will appear when we move the slide you know to a particular time frame in this in this particular case we have 12 seconds 20 seconds all the way up to 30 seconds so again if you don't use a remote to pause it is kind of helpful to have long time uh, duration of each of the slides so people can actually see it you can also include an animation so in this case if we do one two three four five six seven write the bullets they might appear differently and you can also make the bullets coming up slower and make the bullets coming up faster uh, you can make a basic uh, you know showing up or we can make it something more faster it's up to you guys it's it's all uh, based on personal preference but it is very easy to build these new functions and to work alongside them everything is customizable and essentially you have to come over here and paste just copy and paste copy and paste everything that you already created when you're done all you gotta do is to click on the upper right on the small arrow right and you click download this is how simple it is to create a free presentation using canva for more videos like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create for free business cards on canva app very easy guys very simple first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and log into your account and then i want you to come over here on your home page 
right and then you want to scroll all the way to the business card landscape function okay you want to click on it and then first thing we want to do we want to filter the actual media okay we want to make sure that we have everything that we previously prepared for it so we can upload all the elements all the fonts everything that we are going to use if we have something on the site the second filter i'm going to apply will be over here and will be the style um, depending on your business or niche uh, let's try something different previous examples we always go for corporate for uh, formal for professional this time let's go to something modern and let's click apply the last filter i'm going to apply will be the pricing filter which will give us the free templates we don't want to lose our time with looking at the paid versions okay let's pick something very very similar let's click on this one reminds me harvey specter from suits okay guys first thing first each element that you see could be customized okay you click on one two three four different elements currently each one of these elements could simply be edited so for example if you don't like particular part remember we have the front and we have the back this means that every single piece of this could be changed dramatically let's start from the actual logo so for example if you if you don't vibe with the logo you can actually delete it if you click on the on the bin icon on top but you can essentially change the colors first of all i think depending of the niche depending of the of the brand yellow usually goes along with uh with uh with red but as you can see over here there are specifications because there are two different colors if we want to apply if you want to apply to all of it everything that is currently white as you saw everything that is white will change when we change this one so you click the new color and when you click the new color you can click this button change all so essentially you're going to change everything at once probably wonder is this going to change everything on the back of the business card as well yes it did change everything at the back of the business card but remember they didn't change the actual text text has a different button i'm going to show you right now if you want to change the color of the text you want to click on the text itself then you want to go down over here and then you want to click on the text color so this is where you can essentially change the color of the text for the sake of this example we can pick a, like a yellow right and then we can use the same function you can click change all and now every single text will be changed and if you go on the second page you will see that every single text on the second page has been changed this is how simple it is guys for example if you you know change if you want to change this green part over here you don't vibe with it right let's change it let's make it much more you know clear maybe you want to check with something gray uh, maybe lighter gray looks good white looks good if you like this one you can apply it by again clicking change all so if we close this and go back to the first page you're going to see that things are looking much much nicer right you can do the same thing with this color over here right uh, for example you don't like it right you can come over you can click the white right and, and or you can simply scroll down because it is a combination of two colors it is not just one color it's kind of a uh, you know saturated you know version of it between two colors between black and, and white so if you choose something like this i think this looks good right so if you can change all now we're having a very very different design so i hope you these guys find this helpful uh, you can spend a lot of time here you know playing with different fonts when you're done all you gotta do is to click on the upper right corner over here and then download the business card for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create for free a phone wallpaper in canva first thing you want to do you want to come over and log in create your account and when you add your feed you want to scroll from this section you might try as well you want to find this phone wallpaper setting 
so as usual guys we're going through the filters first so we're going to make our work much easier so first we're gonna drop down the style function and we're going to create and choose the creative mode on our theme so when you're at creative now the next section we are going to filter as well will essentially be topics right so this is going to be your phone wallpaper so this is something you're going to see every single day so i presume you most likely want to be interested in something cool uh, let's see earth and space and unfortunately we don't have much choices over here so we can clear this section and we're gonna move to the next one which is the price let's filter by the free functions there isn't any free function so i'm going to show you guys how to create something from scratch and let's pick something like this so for example over here guys every element over here is available to be edited to be replaced to change and you can simply copy your pictures and just come over here and paste it by simply holding it on it and then you have an option to paste as you can see over here copy paste uh, you can select multiple images with this function over here you can simply click on this and then start clicking on the multiple images this is how easy it is guys so essentially if i want to you know change the overall uh, look of it i can simply go over here and simply change it if you want to have a uh, two separate screens or three separate screens on your actual wallpaper by simply swiping on the side you can do that by simply clicking on it and clicking on the plus sign next to it by creating a second window this is of course uh, something that some of you might be interested but don't forget that at the end of the day this is simply just a, a regular editing uh, you know process nothing special if you come over here uh, you can essentially change the the contrast of the images that you're uploading so you can make it look more uh, vintage right on every image might be different vibe might be different season as you can see we can uh, try to to you know make things to make sense the things that are one uh, above another right so everything on the side will simply kind of match with the overall vibe you see how uh, now we're having a very very different vibe we're having like a more more summary more travel more leisure while the first one was kind of kind of professional i would say more more on the you know, casual working side so this is how you essentially could create your own wallpaper by working from uh, scratch or simply you can utilize unfortunately as we saw there isn't a free template that you can use right away from canva but you can create your own for yourself and when you're done all you gotta do is to come on the upper right click on the arrow and click download for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more how to use canva magic studio hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use the canva magic studio in the easiest way so basically what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your canva.com okay and uh, we're going to be coming into our design and spotlight so once you go into your design and spotlight basically over here you're going to find your canva magic studio in the right hand side over here here it says all the power of ai all in one place magic studio brings together the best ai power tools for you and your team so basically what you're going to do is you're going to try magic design by just adding some prompts okay so basically to get magic what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to have canva pro because without canva pro you will not be able to use this and uh, you know text to video text to image all is going to need canva pro but i will tell you how to use it though so basically any item that you want you're simply let's say you want to add a magic switch to this it will transform your content from one genre to another it can translate any language from one format to another you can reformat your whole video if you want. Then you have text to video where you're going to write any text prompt and it's going to make a video out of it. You have text to image. Where you're going to write any text and it's going to create an image out of it. You can effortlessly edit your photos, effortlessly edit your images. Magic grab where you can basically just grab a picture or an element off of an original photo. 
You can professionally edit someone's clothes, background remover, magic razor. That's all the competence of Magic Studio. And yeah, just get Camera Pro and start using away. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. Hi guys, in this Magic Media AI Image Generator tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the app step by step, how to generate prompts, how to get the most of the features and what mistakes usually people do. First thing you want to come over here, log into canva.com and you want to come over Canva apps. Then on the search bar, you want to find Magic Media and this is where you're going to have your beginning of the page, okay? This is where things are getting a little more interesting. So first thing first, use existing design versus use a new design. Meaning you're either going to work on something that you already created using Canva or you're going to start from scratch. I am going to start from scratch by simply clicking use new design. Very important is that every time when you create a brand new design at Canva, you are going to select the particular time frame. So you're going to select the pixels, you're going to select aspect ratio, you're going to select what is the main purpose of your design. As you can see over here, we have a bunch of options. In our case over here, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create essentially a brochure right so this will be for your business the way how the magic media works is that you come over here on the prompt section you create a prompt in our example create a brochure for our new uh, store that sells i don't know what sells books in Manhattan, New York City, uh, located by the Empire State Building. Okay, scroll down and pick the style of the brochure. It could be conservative, it could be straightforward, it could be like a painting, like a photo, or it could be like animation which is the last option and I'm going to select animation simply because based on our previous experience animation designs are always the best. Last thing you want to do before we generate the prompt is that you can simply come over here and change the aspect ratio from square to landscape to portrait. So if we presume that our brochure will be in the shape of a flyer, we're going to go for the portrait mode. Then let's click generate and see what we're going to get. The way how the magic media works is it will generate four unique designs, which you can select, like, download and use. Or if you don't like it, you could simply put these designs into additional section, meaning you can go back down and include your original uh, prompt and as you can see over here we can add additional sentences and words to our prompt so let's see what we generate over here and what we have we have something that is from the far distance we have something that is close up i think the this one looks very good because we have an empire state building right and then we have the store underneath uh, again the aspect ratio is not perfect you always need to adjust things a little, but I, I would say that the quality is very, very good. I think this quality is it's very nice and vibing and you have these like vintage colors. Definitely give you like uh, at least a hook to go and visit the store and see, okay, what, what these people are selling, right? What kind of books they're having? Even for a person that is not into books, you might you know, get them interested just to visit the store. This is why it is very important what kind of prompts, what kind of words you're using when you're actually utilizing this particular app. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video.